Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. I am just bringing to you a brief message. Um, it is to promote my December deal of purchase a sole purpose reading with your natal chart and you'll get a free tarot reading of your choice. Um, I do four different kinds. I believe it's a soulmate twin flame reading. I do a business and career reading. I do um, a general spread. And then I think I do like a um, sole purpose reading with tarot. Okay. So it's kind of like building off of what we get in your chart. Um, I then pull some cards and get a really detailed spread for anything that we um, didn't really dive into in the natal chart reading. Okay. But anyway, the links below, you can check that out. Um, but right now, um, I want you to just get still, take a deep breath and think of a number, um, one, two, or three, whichever number resonates with you the most, just pick that number. I'm going to pick one card from each pile that you see here in front of you. And it's going to be more of like a yes, no type of reading. So, um, whatever you choose, whichever number. So for those of you who pick number one, I want you to take a deep breath and I'm going to go ahead and draw a card from each pile. Okay. All right. Number one. You have helpful people, helpful people. So whatever your question was, you know, seek out some support. People you know and you trust are around to um, really support you. And this could also be, um, you know, in the fifth dimension. This could be like your spirit guides, um, your ancestors, people that, um, you know, have crossed over or, you know, which, whatever your beliefs are, you know, the people that are, you know, really in the spirit world that you know are looking over you and watching out for you. You can really, you know, channel guidance from them if you, um, you know, if that's your beliefs and if that's what you think will be helpful. Oh, the next card is the Wheel of Fortune. This is Jupiterian energy, the ruler of Sagittarius. We're currently in Sagittarius season. So yeah, this is like really an indication that, you know, things are getting ready to turn in your favor. Um, you know, helpful people, Wheel of Fortune, that just speaks to me as like, you know, collaboration, like group projects, um, you know, even like support groups, like a lot of stuff, you know, with the collective situation, a lot of things are online. There's a ton of Facebook groups and um, like online classes that really have like a community attached to them. So with this Wheel of Fortune, I think with the help you get, like that Wheel of Fortune is going to, um, sorry guys, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is really going to turn in your favor. And we do have the big, big conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn moving towards Aquarius. So definitely big things coming in store for that. A lot of changes. Oh, of course, this is spirit coming through to confirm abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. Absolutely. So whatever your question was, whatever you're thinking of, you know, whoever, whatever um, is kind of most on your mind right now, when you picked number one, this is what source has to tell you is that, you know, people are here to help you and good fortune is definitely on the way. Okay. So group two, number two, if you picked number two, get more information. Okay. So you could need to do some research, um, need to do your due diligence. And this could mean um, a series of different things. It could be reaching out to people that um, know what it is you need to get the information on. Okay. So like some subject matter experts, um, you could turn to online. Of course, we're in the age of information. So Googling, going to YouTube, um, just looking up different like credible sources, depending on what it is. Um, Intuitively, I just got a hit about this being about something internally, like something within your family unit. So get more information. I'm getting that there could be maybe like some rumors going around or like something that has happened among you and close family members or friends. And you just um, really want to get clarity on what took place. So you don't, you know, walk around thinking that, you know, something is a certain way. Like you don't kind of carry the energies with that. Like, so just kind of, um, yeah, kind of reach out to whoever you need to speak to and like, really clear the air. Next card we have is the nine of pentacles, beautiful energy. So this is you being truly independent on your own, um, being stable, not really needing a lot of support from others as far as like your material possessions. Um, you know, really being able to handle like your own bills. You can you know, like purchase things for your own and just, yeah, really stand on your own two feet. So, and for those of you who have a question relating to abundance to finances, this could be um, spirit telling you that, you know, abundance is definitely on the way, but you need to get more information regarding that. Okay. You need to kind of get, um, information on like how you, if it's like investment, like get information on how you can invest or better saving strategies and, um, things like that. That's what I got. 
for that now. Let's see what we have here. Healthy choices. Make healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Absolutely. And that's definitely channeling um, the energies or it's like building on the energies of this nine of pentacles. Okay. Healthy choices because it really does start with yourself. And that nine of pentacles does represent um, total independence within yourself. Okay. Not really feeling like you need people. Um, and that's not to be like in an unhealthy way. And I think that it's beautiful that this healthy choices came out is because it's okay to seek out support. Okay. It's okay to say you don't know the next step or you don't feel comfortable making a decision all the way on your own. I think that actually uh, makes you more independent. It makes you, you know, a stronger individual is kind of being vulnerable. All right. So finally, pick um, number three, pick a card number three. We have forgiveness. So some of you may need to forgive someone. This could also be self-forgiveness. Maybe, um, you know, with this full moon lunar eclipse that we just had uh, yesterday on November 30th, it's about releasing. So forgiveness could be, you know, related to anything that you feel is um, really holding you down or, you know, not serving you in any way. Forgiving is really letting go and it's for you. It's never about the other person. So keep that in mind. We have Ace of Swords, yeah, so a new beginning, a new clear beginning, using logic, um, being in a space of where you can speak your truth, you know, Swords energy is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and that full moon was in the sign of Gemini, so again, just getting clear on um, what really worked for you, um, what things that, you know, maybe you were tied up in, you know, for too long, and I'm, I'm literally just got an image of like a sword, like cutting different, like cords like so cord cutting some of you could be doing cord cutting rituals um releasing um old energies doing chakra healing chakra balancing things like that oops oh i picked up two cards all right so number three you get two we have the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing so this could be forgiving around um, a toxic relationship you all had and learning to let go and then we have dragonfly be lighthearted, finding out Oh yeah, being lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. Absolutely. So this could definitely be relationship um, oriented, you know, letting go of something that was very toxic for you and painful um, and definitely like releasing yourself from it, cutting yourself free and, you know, maybe forgiving that person that was involved, forgiving yourself for allowing it, uh, for not having um, enough self-worth to let go s sooner, you know, and it's not about... It's not about blaming yourself. It's not being um, stuck in shame. It's releasing all of that so you can begin anew. All right, you guys. So this is what I have. Again, just stopping in with a brief reading to let you know that I am doing free readings all throughout the month of December if you purchase that soul purpose reading, um, that natal chart reading, okay? So um, links are below. I hope to see you in the next reading. Love you so much and be sure to thrive. Bye.